Hello, girl. Hi. Hi. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, my gosh. It is here. It is here. It is here. It's the end of the work day for many of us. All right. And what a grand way to end the week, you know, than with Bible a study. Bible study. Okay. A Bible study. A Bible study. If you're on, let, let us know you're on. Write your name down there so we can see you. Let us know who's on here with us. Because mm -hmm. if you don't say anything, we won't know. Yes, until later. if you're on or if you're watching, yes. no matter when you watch it, just let us know you're let here. Let us know. Say, hey, Sierra's here. Hey, yes. Christina's here. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Say, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Let us know. Because we want to get to know all of you. We want to get to know you all know? of you. And there are so many new people in the group. Like yes. we are just mm -hmm. tag your friends that's in the group. We are so thankful. We're we flabbergasted are. at this number because this number is numbering. Yeah. If you guys even think of ways on how we can support you, also just like let us know. Hi Amber. Hi. Hi Jennifer. Hi Elizabeth. Hi 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 hi. Oh Jennifer, you're new to the group. Welcome. Welcome, welcome Jennifer. Welcome. I love to hear that. Yes. I'm new to the group. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for joining. What up? What up? What up? Okay. Make sure you guys are just just say what's up when you guys hop on. Yes. We don't care if you're yes. on here for ten seconds. Say something to us. Yes. Say something. Hi, Kelly. Think of that as your accountability. Hey, yes. I watched something today. Yes. I did something. Clap Hi, back Deborah. At us. Okay. Hello, hello. We're we're in Daniel six, guys. We're in Daniel six. We are in Daniel six. Hi, Anna. We are in Daniel six, and we are. Talking through Daniel. Talking through Daniel. All right. So Charity is going to do the one minute recap of Daniel oh, 1 through 10. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, Misty. I would like you all to know that Jermika, hello. Hello. That's, that's what we want to okay. say. Girls, comment. Yes. Comment. Comment. Yes. Okay, um, today is December 1st. Am I prepared? I, I will try. I will try to get through this in under one minute. All right, let me get the timer on. Lord Everybody time her. Me. Okay, while Lord she's doing me. it, if you have been on this journey, with whether you watched it for the first time last yes. week or you've watched it with us since Daniel 1, we want to know what is your one takeaway of this whole Bible Ooh, study series. Yes. Drop that in there while homegirl over yes, here is giving yes. us synopsis okay and okay. for the ones of you if you haven't been with us this whole journey if she said something that speaks to you i want you to drop drop it in Ooh, there let or us give know. her or give her fire emoji yes let me know okay okay somebody okay, okay. please give me a fire emoji right she said and, that right and, and here's the thing what i just it? realized we don't even get to see when they heart stuff Oh, we, we don't, don't get to see it, but y'all still do it. But we don't yes. get to see it when they do it. I need a little music in the background while I while I do this. Okay. Okay. Do you are you almost ready? I'm almost ready. Okay. I got a little hot guy. Need a quick fan. A quick fan moment. Ready? Okay. All right. Go. All right, so we start out with Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay. They are the smartest in all the land. They okay. asked God for the wisdom. They got it. Okay, God okay. made it them the smartest in the land. Okay. Because of That's that, good. King Nebuchadnezzar, okay. he had a dream. Okay. He went to all the soothsayers and the mind people, and he said, hey, I need you to tell me what my dream meant. And they were like, well, tell us your dream, sir. So we'll tell you. And he said, no, no, you're supposed to have all the wisdom. Yes. You tell me my dream and yes. give me the interpretation. Okay, keep going. They could not do it. King said off with their heads, all of them. Okay. And when he said off with their heads, the only one who could do it was Daniel. Right. Daniel told him the dream. He said, okay, I'm going to make you over all the kingdom. You know, you, you're going to be the main soothsayer, you know? So he said that. Um, and then they built a gold statue. And when they built yes. that gold statue for King mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel didn't bow down. That's right. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't bow down. That's what we're talking about, though. That's right. And when they did not bow down, they were put into the fiery furnace. Right. But they did not burn up. Keep why? Going. Because God was with a them. A minute has passed, but she's not done. Oh, there we go. We're in Daniel 4 now. King Nebuchadnezzar, he came up again and had another dream. And this time, once again, he okay. went back to his soothsayers, okay. not to Daniel, okay. who had all the information. I feel like we in really Bible study. You know? I feel like we we putting ourselves in a hot seat. Okay, and I am, and I don't like it, okay. but we're going. Let me get a so finger, finger. that 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 happened. Okay, and um, once Give again, 
once again he had to come and Daniel had to come and save the day um and then um right because Daniel told King Nebuchadnezzar that he was about to be as lowly as an animal mm -hmm. and it happened and so he did that for a time of seven we believe that's seven years yes. and then he got his mind only when he acknowledged that God was the reason that he was able to rule the way that he was. Yes. So then his son began to take over. Yes. Right? His, his son, son became and it's like it is he did not learn from the past. He kept doing the same the thing he did before. Same thing he did before. And so he he there was a writing on the wall. And yes. so they had to call Daniel in to ask what it meant. And it basically meant your time is done. Yeah. And so immediately someone else came and they took over. Yeah. And that's where we are. Very well. But not in under a minute. She did. It was two minutes and 18 two minutes, seconds. 18 seconds. That's but ridiculous. You did, but first of all, I know. Have you gotten ever? You need a little fit. She does. Thank you. Give me a she, heart. She thank does. You, thank you for the heart. Okay. Sister. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. It is incredibly yes, hard <laughs> to remember the things that you learn from the Bible. Ooh, right? Because the enemy, once you get a word, the good. enemy will steal it. And so the fact that we challenge ourselves to do it when yes, we go these live so and we both be forgetting like, oh, yeah, it's like, oh, oh, turn the, turn the oh, is, <laughs> is crazy. So we challenge you. You yes. say when you go back into your Bible moment, when you go back into your Bible study moment for yourself, like, what did I learn yesterday? What did I learn? Yes. What did I learn? Because yes. it's easy to forget. We're reading about yes. two kings right yes. now that forgot. Ooh, they continue to forget so because here. they were triggered. They were yes. in situations or they were in a highly in a highly sinful areas where they just forgot because they was in so much pleasure field, right? Mm. They forgot. So whether you trigger or you have or you're in, in intense increased pleasure, so you forget what you're supposed to know, which is the basic that God is God. Yeah. And yeah. that he loves you and he cares for you at the end of the day. Yes. Right? And then there's love there. So And he wants us to remember. And he wants us to remember. Cuz one of the remember. things that it just caused me right, you ever go to church on Sunday and then you're like, "Oh my gosh, that message was so good." Yes. And then you go to, "Oh my gosh, the pastor preached today." The pastor preached today. He did, she did, whichever one you have. They did. Right? And yeah. then they're like, "Okay, what was it about?" And, and you like, go, "Mm." Mm. Oh, mm. I promise you, I take. I don't that. know, but it let was me good. Go. I don't it was know. Good. Or, I don't remember. But or that me, thing. I'd be like, let me go cut my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I remember if you would have asked me five minutes ago, I would have remembered. But you that's know? what the enemy does. Yeah, it comes yeah. in and yeah. tries to steal, yes. right? Steal the word so you will forget. Because if you remember, mm. right, and you activate mm. on what you heard. You become bigger and stronger. We're dangerous then. We become dangerous. Yeah, then. we're dangerous then. And so we're telling you guys, get bigger, get stronger. Yes, yes. Do the work. The board she said about being a text right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we wanted the same thing, Deborah. Maybe we yes. wanted the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it. Yes. So we are in Daniel 6. And in this story right now, we're going to learn how God's anointed how god's mm -hmm. chosen one right daniel was chosen he sure he had was. special insight yeah how there's a plot against him yes and some of you guys i want when we're reading this first of all get your bible out and yes, read with us please, as you're please. reading this i want you if you're yes, read this as if you're daniel yes, and there's yes. a plot against your life mm. there's a plot against all these things put yourself and in the you're, story and if when you get into the lion's den you know where God is with you. Yes. Put yourself here. Yes. That is how you should read the word. Apply it. It is instructions. And so that's what we're gonna do. Yes, it is. I and, think and all of us thing, gonna be Daniel today. And we love to say it's not a it's not an if. Yeah, it's not an if. This life brings us wins. Yeah, it's when it happens. Life brings us not wins. Not if it happens. When it happens. And if it has happened in the past, yeah. when it happens again, unfortunately, we yeah. have to remember that God is with us. But we're going to get to all of that. Yes. We're about to get to all of that. So let's let's dive in. Okay. All right. Daniel 6, verse 1. Everyone, get your Bibles out. Mm -hmm. Get it out. Darius decided to appoint 120 sail traps over the kingdom, stationed throughout the realm. And over them, three administrators, including Daniel. So, all right. Who's okay. Daniel right now? He is one of the three mm -hmm. administrators. He's and he's also third in the kingdom. Like mm -hmm. he's the third in charge. So yeah. he has a high position. He is no one lowly. He has rank. He has a <clears throat> status. Yes. These serotrops would be accountable to them so that the king would not be defrauded. So mm -hmm. he's over there to be accountable. Yes. To hold the king about so the king won't be defrauded. 
Daniel distinguished himself above the administrator in the satraps because he had an mm. extraordinary spirit. So the king planned to set him over the whole realm because God was with him. Yes. The administrators and the satraps, therefore, kept trying to find a charge against Daniel regarding the kingdom. Because why? Is anybody against mm. you because they're jealous of your gift? Okay. Is anyone against you? They ain't got to be jealous of a gift. They're jealous of you. Okay. Is anyone you feel like is against you? Maybe it's not jealousy, but you feel like they're against you. Right? We've all been there. We've all been you there. You know? But they could they could not find no charge or corruption, mm -hmm. for he was trustworthy, and no negligence or corruption was found in him. He was trustworthy. Yes, he was. Then these men said, we will never find any charge against Daniel unless we find something against him concerning the law of his God. Yes. So the administrators and the seraphs went together to the king and said to him, may King Darius live forever. All the administrators of the kingdoms the, the prefects, the seraphs, the advisors, the governors have agreed that the king should establish an ordinance and enforce an edit that for 30 days, anyone who petitions any god or man except mm. you, the king, will be thrown into the lion's den. Let me tell you something. Mm. If this ain't, again, another okay. trick. We just read Esther. We just we read did. Esther. We did. Same thing. And this, you know, I think what's really good about this, too, is how we can't okay. even... Let any, er, let any let any and everyone speak into our lives right because there are some people who are cunning and they have ill intentions yes so when people say things to us we really need to be able to discern whether or not that's truth and something we need to take in and eat of and ponder and consider or throw that thing out yeah because sierra's right we just got the reading esther and he was influenced too these people won't bow down to you they these people aren't doing this you. they're not doing that you should do this you should do that right did you ask god did you ask god did you open your bible mm -hmm. did you see what the lord had to say that's what we're gonna ask you okay Our, anyone that knows when they come to us and ask for biblical support and you guys had yes. the, the opportunities yes. for all you guys yes message we'll us at the, the, the page yeah we're always going to say you're like i'm going through this in yes. my life did you open your body yes what yes. did he say from that place that is where we come in. Yep. You say, hey, this is the scripture. This is the chapter I got. Yep. I'm not understanding. And that's where we can come in. Yes. But until you do your part, we cannot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Because we won't be like these. Mm -hmm. We won't, we won't, we won't have you be on a lowercase G. No. We want you to stand on God. Stand firm. Stand firm. We can't give you nothing that lacks. Otherwise, it's gonna fall flat every time. We can every only time. give you the Father. We can only point you to the Father. That is what we have. That's our responsibility. Yes, that's but what it. I find interesting here is that, isn't that like the world? So what they're doing is trying to get him to bow down to the king. Yes. To the yes. lowercase king. They're trying yes. to get him to bow down to the world instead of bow down to the father. Mm -mm. And so a lot of things that we're doing, the people want us to bow down to them and they get mad when we won't. Ooh. They get mad when we're like, I got, no, I ain't doing that, that. that doesn't fit my, I ain't doing that. that doesn't fit mm -mm. me. That doesn't mm -mm. fit my life. Nope. He's like, I'm not going to do it. They wanted him to bow down to the world, to them, to the king. And he, they knew he wasn't going to do mm -hmm. it. They knew his faith. Yeah. They knew yeah. he wasn't going to do it. And that's so interesting. We heard a story today that was so similar to this. And it was. Wasn't it, it so was. similar to this? Yes, so very similar. And so kudos. She knows who she is. Yes. Good job, Good Daniel. Good job. Good job, Daniel. Good job. You know who you are. Yes. Good job, Daniel. Okay, verse 8. Therefore, your majesty, establish the edict and the sign the document mm -hmm. so that as a law of Medes and the Persians, it is irrevocable and cannot be changed. So King Darius signed, he signed the it. written. He Didn't signed even it. think. Just Didn't signed think. it. Just Didn't signed even think. it. Here we go. Here's a go. Another king that's like, I'm going to sign it without thinking that it's going to impact the one who knows the most. Exactly. exactly. It's going to impact the special. The special. Okay. Okay. Daniel and the lion's den. Daniel 6, 10. When Daniel learned that the document had been signed, he went into his house. Mm -hmm. The windows in his upstairs room opened toward Jerusalem, and three times a day he got down on his knees, prayed, and gave thanks to his God, just mm -hmm. as he has done before. Oh, my God. This is so big for us, right? Yeah. Because Sierra and I, we were doing some prayer time yesterday and was like, you know what? God is just telling us to go praise. Yeah, He's he just telling us to go praise. pray. He didn't want that, nothing else. Yeah, that's all he wanted. And sometimes that's what God wants from us. And I'm going to tell you, the, the first time we start getting into situations and circumstances, my first thought isn't always let me go pray. 
right? Mm -hmm. Is let me go talk to this one over here. Let me go complain let to me, that one. Let me, let me, me do it. this. Right. Let me, let me yeah. fix it with my hands. Cause my hands can fix what? When we want God's nothing. hands on it. <laughs> what can your nothing. hands do beauty queen? Yeah. Nothing. Unless it's empowered by him, you're going to tear it down. Yes. And that's a proverb. It's Proverbs 14, 14, 1. A wise woman builds her house, mm -hmm. but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Yeah. And so I want to be wise. The only way we can be wise is if we use wisdom. Yes. And and that's the opposite of what we want to do. I'm yeah. going through something. I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm upset. And I go to thank God. But those are his instructions. Those are his. That's what the word says. Okay. So Daniel, Daniel 6, 11. Mm -hmm. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel petitioning and imploring his God. Yeah. So they approached the king and asked about his edict. Didn't you sign an edict that for 30 days, any person who petitions any God or man except you, the king will be, the king will be thrown into the lion's den? Then they're going to ask that question, knowing what answer they wanted to hear. The that, isn't that messy? Petty. That's so that messy. is so messy. Any of y'all been in a just messy situation? Okay. Like you, like that was so messy. This is a whole messy moment right here. This is messy. They knew. They knew. It was planned. And they're like, did you sign that? Mm -hmm. Didn't you say that? It's, it's, it's say giving that? housewives. It's giving very. <laughs> it's giving housewives. It is. Yeah, I'll okay. Say, okay. All right. So, um, so the king answered, as a law of the Medes and Persians, the order stands, and it is irrevocable. Oh my God, I can't irrevocable. say that. Irrevocable. Irrevocable. Then they replied to the king, Daniel, one of the Judean exiles, has ignored you. The king yeah, and the edict you signed for he prays three times a day. We saw him. We saw him. Ooh, we, we saw, saw him. him. They saw, oh, we he, saw him. He, he was petitioning. We said for 30 days. That's yeah. what that's what you said. That's what you Who said. said that? You said it. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. Uh huh. He was not doing it. He, he was not, not doing it, Lord. He, he didn't do it. Mm -mm. Okay. okay. So verse. Okay. Yes, 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 sorry. Daniel 6, 14. As soon as the king heard this, he was displeased. He set his mind on rescuing Daniel and made every effort until sundown to deliver him. Oh, my God. And see, and this is why sometimes when, when we make decisions, we need to go to God to ask first. Yeah. Because there are some times when we'll be like, oh, you know what? We can just do this. And the Lord will say no. But then we won't understand why he said no until later. Because in our minds, it makes sense right now for today. Yes. But God goes before us. Let me tell you. He this. goes before, behind, beside us. So he's seeing what we don't see. This is why coming to God with everything is so important. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yes. Yes. And when the Lord tells me no about something, let me tell you, I am, I can be the most spoiled brat ever. And I'm like, but Lord, it's what I want. It's what I want. Why don't you let me yes. in? Oh, this is literally me and God's it's conversation. It's perfect. What I want is perfect. perfect. I got to have it. Uh-uh. I, like, said, I what said, said what I said. <laughs> and you will soon understand <laughs> Yes. Why. Yes. You will soon. You can't see today. But if you come out mm -hmm. of it, come out of what yeah. this place, yeah. go out, come outside of and look down from heaven, you may see. And wait a couple of days. Yeah. Wait a month. Wait a year. Boom. That's why I couldn't do it. Then I say thank you. Mm. And so well, how about we change our thank yous right now? So when, when yeah. he first says no, we say thank you for yes. the block. Yes. Thank you for the protection. Ooh. Thank you immediately. I had this experience this week. And Sierra was telling me, oh, it's so good. I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It don't feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good, but it doesn't feel good like, in the moment. Good. Like you need to shout hallelujah. <laughs> he blocked it. <laughs> He your time it. is not being wasted, man. I was like, your you time know? is not being wasted. <laughs> Shoot. But, okay, so I thought I also think it's interesting here Shoot. because once the king realized his Better mistake, he tried to reverse it. Yes. But sometimes we can do things, right, mm -hmm. that we cannot, that cannot be undone. Yes. Even though we didn't see it yet. Yes, right. Does that make sense? Right. Coming you know, like, we set some things into play. Yes. That it might be hard. It might be, it's going to be, it's, it, God can get us out of it, but it's going to be like, God, Lee, I, uh, he can do all the things. Let me tell y'all something. Can I, but can we help him sometimes? My, my heart <laughs> yeah. um, can be very, uh, you know, we're all growing and I can get myself a situation that I'm like, <laughs> I got to clean it up. I gotta yes, clean it up. Yes. I gotta clean it up. All that I didn't know. And I was like, 
you didn't ask. Yeah. Mm. Or you asked me and then you rebelled because I told your butt. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, Lord, can you help me clean my mess up? Yeah. And, and he can. Do. He can. But sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Even when you try to clean it up, you run out of time. And now you need the Lord to do it. Yeah. So, and we know we know the story about Daniel and the lion's mm -hmm. That's what we're coming up yeah. to. Yeah. The Lord had to come in to save him because yeah. the king, the king couldn't do it. And mm -hmm. he had all the power and authority mm -hmm. too. He had all and the sometimes power. in situations, you oh, can be the so king here. You yeah. have all the power and authority yeah. to change something, to fix something. Yeah. And then it's out of your hands now. And it's out of his hands, mm -hmm. even though he had the responsibility, the Lord took it from him because he couldn't be trusted. Mm -hmm. So the Lord had to do it. And here's the thing i think i witnessed this today wait a minute mm. am i mm. what the, what the, See, am i being attacked lord <laughs> are you attacking me <laughs> Woo. so situation that i'm like you like you could do it but no so he sends help he's the helper that comes in yeah. so it can be done right mm. it can be done his way and so okay all right we continue on me. Okay, Daniel 6, 16. We so the king far. gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. Yeah. The king said to Daniel, may your God, whom you continually serve, rescue you. Hey, he said, oh, I can't. Oh, my God. He said, I can't. May Ooh. your God he rescue said, you. He said, boo -boo. get somebody else to do get it. Get somebody he else said, to do it. He said, I tried. Get somebody I else tried. to do it. <laughs> you know, I, because remember, what do we read at first? These advisors are here to hold his butt accountable. Right? Mm-hmm. They're yeah. there to hold him yeah. accountable. So he like, oh my goodness, it's out of my hands. My hands are tied. I yes, can't. Yes. So your God's going to have to yep. do it. Hey, Erica asked a great question here. Erica said, how do you know it's good? It's God answering and not your own conviction or Satan. Girl, Amen. That's open question. your Bible. These are the Lord's words. Yep. Also, check the fruit. I always say this. Why? If you if the fruit is gentle, loving, kind, peace, right? All the fruits of the spirit, you know it's him. You know it's your he heavenly father. But if it's shame, guilt, mm -hmm. condemnation, anything, like I'm look, y'all hear me catch a word yeah. that is literally for me, and I still got joy about it. I'm like, the Lord just convicted me literally on this live. And yeah. look, I still have peace. Yeah. I still have joy. I have all these things about it. I'm like, thank you. That is God. Because when he tells you about yourself, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we move. That's how you know. That's and Erica, how you know. we're also going to tag you yes. in the first podcast episode. My goodness. You're going to We want it. you to go watch that. My okay? goodness. My goodness. My Another goodness. Another way my goodness. that God speaks to us. So we are going to tag you in that. And everyone else, please feel free to go watch it also if you watch have not. It. Go watch it. It's in the pinned yes. um, section of the group where you guys can see, and it says how to open your body. Yes, yes. That's it. Click on That's that darn it. thing and be like this. Yep, yep. And then come back to us after you do it. Yes, we want to know. Come back we to us We don't know what you, you think. We want to Hit us know. up in the we chat. We want to know. Hey, we want to know. We want to okay, know. Don't okay, don't Okay, Daniel 6, 17. <laughs> A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. Yes. The king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signet rings of his nobles so that nothing in regard to Daniel could be changed. Man, not only is it out of the king's head, but he sealed it, darn it. Mm, he took that thing. You know, you ever you watch any of the medieval shows, right? And they got the ring and they dip it in the ink. and then, You know, that's sealed. That's sealed. Signed, sealed, delivered. Okay, so then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. Ooh, oh, look Lord. at that. No oh, diversions Lord. were brought to him and he could not sleep. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's good. That's good. Somebody look up the word that diversions. That is good. I'm a, we because gonna that y means some things, you know, some things it's like, let, let's, let's skip a meal, yeah. you know? Lord, I need your answer. Let's skip a meal. Let's skip a meal. The, it's interesting to see how, because knowing the story of Daniel and the Lion's Den, right? It's been a while yeah. since I've gone back and read it, and knowing that the king, what did he he interceded for Daniel. Yes, the king interceded for Daniel. The king interceded, and that is that is a big deal. Who you That's need to intercede deal. for? What yes. did what mess did you what yes. mess did you do that now you need to go pray Ooh, about it? Oh, you need to intercede about it, huh? Uh, we uh, need to skip skip a few meals or two about that thing, uh, right? Because at this point, I'm looking for diversions. Only our God can save us. Yeah. Okay, so Daniel released. 
Daniel 6, 19. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. Now, what was he expecting to see? Okay. You know? Hey, he, he heard to the lion's den. You know what should have happened. First of all, let me tell you about Dairy. So this is the first king we hear about in Daniel, in the book of Daniel, that believes. Mm. Like from from straight. Mm. This is the first king we hear about that remembers, that remembers the past. Yes. And it's like, we know that Daniel's God is God. Like, I'm yes. not going yes. to. So I'm going to fast. Yeah. Because I know, I see, we see miracles in this kingdom. We have seen two kings done perish now. And yes. I'm next. So I'm like, they, they, I know Darius is like, ugh. Let me fast to that God. Yeah. Let me beat that God, you know? And then, He's like, let me go see for myself. Let me go see for myself. And some of y'all, you are God in their lives. Like, so they've seen God happen because of your testimony, right? Mm. And so this is what's happening. He's seen Daniel this whole entire time. Mm. Do these miracles, being able to do it. And now he's like, ah! Yeah, I done made a mess. Yeah, I, mean, I yeah. know his God is going to save him. Mm -hmm. So I have faith too. Yes. Some some yes. people are looking at your faith and it's making them believe. That's what's happening here. They're looking at your faith and seeing yes. that it's big and, and it's mighty and that it'll save you at that lion's yes. den. And so they're believing for you and they're like, you know what? I don't believe what you believe, but I'm going to pray for okay. you. I'm going to pray your God too. Because okay. I know that thing will work. I've seen it work. And next thing you know, they believe. And when you're, yes, yeah, because when our God brings us out, Mm, yeah. okay. okay, okay, okay. So, Daniel 620. When he reached the den, he cried out in anguish to Daniel. Daniel, Daniel servant of the living God. Servant my of boy, the living God. My boy. I love how he says the living God. <laughs> he, he professed Daniel, that thing. Daniel, my boy, Daniel. is your God, whom Daniel. you continually serve, been able to, to rescue, rescue you from the lions. Lord, this is wonderful. Mm, then Daniel spoke with the king. May the king live forever. My God. God has sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth and they haven't harmed me. For I was found innocent before him. And mm. also before you, your majesty, I have not done harm. I am highlighting like a mug right now. Mm. Okay. I don't, I don't. Oh, sorry. So okay. then Daniel, oh, sorry. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to take Daniel out of the den. When Daniel was brought up from the den, he was found to be unharmed for he trusted in God. The king then gave the command, and those men who had maliciously accused Daniel were brought and thrown into the lion's den. And they was eight they, their children and their wives. Oh, oh my, my God. God! Woo! So he did have. So he he did have the power to save Daniel because that's the Lord had to do that. Mm. But he did have the power to not only correct it but correct it fearlessly. Wow! That thing just got me. Mm -hmm. So you do have a responsibility still. I was like, okay, now that I've taught you something, now do it correctly. Mm. The next time somebody comes to you and tells you to go against me, you kill it. Because that's what they were doing, go against yes. God. Yes. So anything that tells you to go against your faith, kill it, not the person. Mm -hmm. We always yes, have to say not that. The, yeah, not the, not person, the person. Not the person. Not the person. Not the person. That, person, thing, though, that thing, thing, That thing can die, though. Yeah. That thing. Not, but, not, but not people. Not, not people. Okay? <laughs> it's so interesting here, though, that they set that trap for Daniel. Yeah. And but it came back on not only them but their wives and their children. Okay, that's something. So they had not know. reached the bottom. I feel oh. like that was a blessing to okay. somebody to hear. Oof. But somebody, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. Mm -hmm. I don't, know. I don't want to touch mm -hmm. it. I don't want to touch mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to touch it. But so, let's think about it in cosmic powers. So because we know we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We yeah. wrestle with what. The, the things, rulers the rulers, the, the cosmic yeah. powers. So just mm -hmm. think that it goes back on them and all the things. Like, think about that. Mm. Think about that. And so then we say, thank you, Lord, for the person to not have to deal with that because that thing is dying in them. Mm. That's how we have to yeah. look at that. Yeah. Think about that, that they being mm -hmm. free from it. So they had not reached the bottom of the den before the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Why? Because they were hungry. They sitting there looking at Daniel all night. Can't do nothing. I know. <laughs> So Daniel left, the angel left, and they're like, dinner time. Okay. Jesus. Darius honors God. Then King Darius wrote to those of every people, nation, and language who live on the whole earth. May your prosperity abound. I issue a decree that in all my royal dominion, people must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, and he endures forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed, and his dominion has no end. He rescues and delivers. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens on the earth. For he has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. You know, I think that for us to even to to go about remembering that, this is part of this we'll remember. How 
powerful would this mm. be for us to recite and to remember when we are going through dark times, when we are going through those hard times. There is something beautiful about remembering verses of scripture and using that when anxiety comes, when fear comes, right? Lord, you are the living God. You endure forever. Your kingdom will never be destroyed. Your dominion has no end. You rescue and deliver. You provide signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. For you rescued, rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. And Lord God, you are going to rescue me from filling the blank. Put yourself in that thing. Put yourself in that thing and pray that to God. Pray that to our God. Okay. And so Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. That thing is getting me. I sat here and you read and you just say, hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's the verse 27 for me. He rescues and he delivers. Mm -hmm. He performs signs and wonders yeah. in the heavens and on earth. For he has rescued me. We won't put yes. me like that. He has rescued me. From the power of blank. Yep. You have rescued me. Lord, you, you rescued Daniel from the lions. Rescue me from my struggle in blank. In blank. It's the, he performs signs and wonders. Yeah. Y'all look at the signs and the wonders mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. you. Like yesterday, not yesterday. Okay. Wednesday, we talked about seeing the writing on the wall yes, and how that can be a yes, sign. Yes. You all look at the signs. Mm -hmm. What signs and wonders is the Lord moving? Pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. Because he moves things to get to us. He does. He moves them and say, daughter, I love you. Pay attention. Pay attention. That's all you got in that, your head. You know, when this happens, this you feeling this way in your body, what look at all these things I'm speaking to yes. you. Go I look up those mountains. lyrics. Go look at those go look, look up those up lyrics. The lyrics. That That's why I gotta go back up and look at diversion. That thing spoke to me. And um <laughs> he rescues you, beloved, and delivers you, mm -hmm. Joy. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. For he has rescued you from the power of blank. Yeah. Speak that. Speak, speak that. that. That's speak something you speak God's at. words back to him. That is good. Speak his words back to him. We talk about open Bible and how open it. And so mm -hmm. I, I, when you guys are opening Bible, make sure you write down what you ask the Lord. Yes. And my Bible over here is filled with some with questions that I've asked him. And it's up until this point when we when read, because, you know, you can't read the, the word, the same story over and over again. You yes. Get you different get different things. things. And I'm reading this and I'm like, the stuff he I'm even asking for, I'm like, Thank you. Hmm. He rescued me. He rescued you. He rescued me, rescued me, rescued me, rescued me. And for that, we say thank you. And I sh should have said thank you then. Hmm. I need to write, say thank you. Yes. When I'm yes. asking, say yes. thank you. All right. We leaving y'all with that. We sure, sure. we sure are. Say thank you. We're excited for Daniel 7. We are so excited for Daniel 7 mm -hmm. on Monday. Yes, yes. So we're still trying to get a feel of the time that you guys like. Yes, yes. And so this is our first time doing it at 5 p.m. Yeah, it is. And it seems it like is. it's... I like it. I like it. I like it. I like yeah, it. And yeah. so maybe we'll try 5 p.m. Yeah, on Monday. Yeah, we'll, we'll so let you all... We'll yeah, let you guys yeah, know. We will. We will. And we'll create an event. We'll create an event so you guys can be yes, ready for it. Yes, um, But we, I like this time. Yes, this was so, so good. It was so good. Okay. Have a great weekend, all. Girl. 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 Open, Open your, your Bible. Bible.